Ah, now that hive looks good. And this one over here looks pretty tasty too. Okay guys, two hives, one trap. Let's go. <laughs> What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords Mobile video and today I'm taking on the role of Trojan Cat. <laughs> I found a couple of Indo guilds over here which was, oh, well you know what, it went from a 2 to like an 11 in the space of a few minutes and I've got some clips for you uh, to show you right now. Uh, my recorder was playing up a little bit so there was some things I missed but I'm going to do my best to put it together so you enjoy it. One thing I will say before we go to the action is thank you guys so much for two, ready? Two thousand subscribers! Oh my god! You know what, it's just gone so quick from 1,000 to 2,000 and I just think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, you know, you guys watching my stuff, liking it, it's just... Oh my god! <laughs> anyway, let's get to the action guys, hope you enjoy it, and let's go! Okay, so today we're going to start off with a red screen, and we've got Mr. Gal coming in with his one troop march. Now, being a trap, guys, can sometimes be quite frustrating. You know, uh, you, you tend to wait and wait, and sometimes the hits just don't come. And that's basically what's happening here. Um, I was doing some good old-fashioned trapping, attacking their camps, just being an absolute pest. And it didn't work at all. So I came over to this little Japanese guild. Now, same kind of scenario here. I've pulled it in and I've started attacking their little castles. Just getting a few leaders just to try and, you know, make myself noticed, be a bit of a pest and get on their nerves basically. So I'm going in for a hit on this level, is it 18? Yeah, level 18 castle now. And just, you know, I'm hoping that someone's going to pull in. Now, during the last War of Wonders, there was a guy in this guild that was about 40 odd million who was attacking our allies. So I was kind of hoping he would make, a sh make an appearance. Now there is a 25 castle there as you can see at the moment. And he's about 38, 39 million. So I was kind of hoping that maybe he would see me attacking them and then maybe attack me. But as you can see he's just sitting there shielded. I mean he might be offline or he might just be thinking, nah, not for me. <laughs> but as you can see I continued. So I've gone for another hit. I'm just kind of hoping that these guys would see something, something would happen, maybe a scout, maybe, maybe a good attack, but nothing's going on. And this is the second attack I've done. It's not that great. I mean, 60,000 wounded. It's not really about getting the kills at this point. It's just about trying to be a nuisance. So I stayed there for a bit longer and I continued to attack them and attack their monsters and things like that. Then, out of nowhere, this guy appears. So I'm like, okay. This is who I've been looking for. This is the guy I wanted to trap. So he's pulled in, he's used those 1500 gems, he's scouted me, I'm ready now. I'm ready. The cookies are out, the milk is ready, come on in. But no, he just sits there. And part of the recording I didn't get was when the other 25 castle pulled in next to me as well, but they didn't really do nothing, so I decided to move on. So, let's go to the Indo Guild. And here we are at the first Indo Guild. Now you know from the intro there's another hive to the left hand side of this one and both of these are Indo Guilds. So I started being a pest again. I started attacking them. This is their R5 that I'm attacking at the moment and I started getting their leaders and they had a lot of leaders out to capture. So I was capturing one, two, three, four, just getting them all, taking their resources and just being an absolute nuisance. And at first at first, they started to they started to rumble. The ground started to shake. <laughs> a few little scouts and a few little attacks started coming in. Okay, as you can see from that hit, he still had some left over, so I decided to go back and get it. But let's skip to something else, and that's this guy attacking me. Now he came in, he came in strong, and he gave me a hit. And of course, he um, yeah, he's stopping by. He's having some cookies and milk, but. This guy wasn't finished. Oh no, no, no. Before we get there, let's look at the battle report. And you can see what he sent. And let's have a look. Okay, so he sent 50,000 troops. Very, very nice indeed. Very nice. Okay. So at this point, I'm thinking, okay, this is starting to warm up. Here comes another attack. Okay. Looking good, looking good. So I'm, at this point, I'm getting excited, but you know, it's a one troop. You know, maybe he's told his friends. And they're like, no, 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 don't attack him, guys, he's a trap. Well, that's what I thought he said, but clearly he didn't, because 
yeah, he decided to, uh, to hit me again, which was a bit weird. Anyway, let's move on to another attack. And this is the one, the little castle next to that one that just attacked me. I did click on a monster by accident. I meant to click the scout report to see what was coming. <laughs> and let's see what this guy's sending. So, let's have a look. And 20,000 troops. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, he's got his leader in there as well. So, at least he's given it everything he's got. Which is good. I like people sending their leaders in their marches. You know, if you're going to attack someone, send your leader. Too many leaderless marches coming at me these days. But... Here we go, so we're inbound with 20,000 troops. Now, just remember that guy who attacked us two hits ago. That guy to the right of me by the darkness, Tabusala. He hit me that one time with 50,000 troops. We're gonna come back to him in just a second. But first, let's welcome these 20,000 in for milk and cookies and lay the table and mm, there we go, yum. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Okay, let's have a quick look at that battle report and see exactly what he sent just to you know, I like looking at the mic drops and seeing what they lost and what I gained and everything. We've got the leader. That's nice. 29,000. It's a baby attack, but he sent his leader, so that's good. And who's coming now? Looks like someone else is... Oh, there we go. It's Tabusala. Okay, so he wants some more. Obviously, my cookies were freshly baked this morning, and 40,000 more T1 are ready to come and enjoy them. So, guys, what do we do? We open our arms, welcome him in, open the doors. Come on. Here we go. And there's a few more troops. Now the thing with Tabusala, he's a bit of a warrior because he didn't just hit me once, oh no. He hit me once, which was nice. Then he hit me twice. And then he scored a hat trick. Well done, my son. So at this point, I'm kind of enjoying what's going on. You know, I'm sitting at this little hive. People are attacking me. I'm getting some kills, everything's going really sweet, you know, I'm, I'm having a good time, especially considering the first two hives I went to, not much was happening at all. Now, I'm attacking this guy right here, this little 12, 15 castle, and it looks like that guy's speeding across the hive trying to reinforce, <laughs> but you're not going to get there in time, oh no, so this guy's going to get a nice burn, thank you very much. Now what I didn't know was because I didn't scout this guy, he actually had quite a few troops this dude. Seriously, like, I know they were low tier, but I never sent my leader. Just a few lower end troops I sent. So let's have a look and see what I actually just hit. And you had 146,000 troops. <laughs> I didn't even send my leader, just 76,000. And I almost wiped them out, but I have 42,000 left. So what do we do? We send in the cleanup crew. So I decided to go for a second march. So here I go again. And as you can see, here he comes. <laughs> that guy, that same guy who pulled his troops back out once I attacked, is going to reinforce his friend again, which is what you should do, guys. But the idea of reinforcing is you have to get your troops there before mine, <laughs> which the second time he actually fails to do again. Um, he, maybe then he didn't have no speed boots. I don't know. But the cleanup crew hits the castle and we mop it up. So right now, guys, just to let you know what I'm thinking. I've got a couple of hits. I'm starting to, you know, push them a little bit. And I need to get a couple more attacks in, a couple more leaders, just to try and tip them over the edge. You know, because that's what I want to do. That's the goal. Just to get them to go crazy and start hitting me. And at this point, it wasn't really happening. So, I decided to go over to the other hive, their neighbors, and say hello. <laughs> so let's go over to there now. Okay, so here I am, and I'm hitting this guy, and he, he's got 15 million ore in there, so I'm hitting this thing again and again, and suddenly 613N decides to attack me. So, okay, come on in, let's go. <laughs> Milk and cookies for you too, sir. And let's have a look at his might, I can't really see it just there, there we go, five. So he dropped a couple of million might by the looks of it, so let's have a quick look at the battle report, if you don't mind, there we go. And let's see exactly what... Oh, and apparently we're cowards too. Ooh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at this battle report and see what this guy just sent to me. So, okay, so 101,000 troops. That might drop is definitely T3. Well, I can definitely tell this is a T3 march. And let's have a look and see what it is. Ooh, look at all those dead Robin Hoods. Ouch. <laughs> so that's the end of that march. So that's good. Anyway, guys, did you notice that there is another march coming towards me? My screen's red. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> oh, it's a rally. 
<laughs> so it seems that after porting just across the way to the neighbours with all of their leaders, they got a bit angry. So 200,000 troops inbound, looking good. Okay, so we, we got a rally coming and that's fine. That's fine because I saw this a while ago, guys. So I knew what was coming. I could see it was T2, so I wasn't too worried. But looks like this guy has taken advantage of the fact that they're rallying and he just lost the whole T3 march. He's coming back for more. So he obviously wants some revenge. He's thinking, well, they're rallying him, so I'm gonna go in with them. These two hives are starting to work together. They're like friends. Well, that's just awesome. So here they come. So for rally hits and gone, but oh, this is where my recorders froze. Yeah, oh dear. But I've got the red battle reports for you guys. So there's the rally. Looking pretty good at 224. Quite a few really reds. Very, very nice. And then this is the composition. Um, yeah, you know, for T2, not bad. Not bad, guys. It takes a lot of, you know, courage to do that. And that was E1, 613 ends march. Ooh, another T3 march dead. Ouch. <laughs> that is not having a good day, is he? Okay, so what happens next? It looks like 613N is mad and decides to rally me. And no leader in... <laughs> Good, is it? No leader deployed, but we've got the rally inbound, 18 seconds out, and here he comes. And I'm looking forward to this, you know, this is gonna be nice. I know I've taken bigger hits, so I'm not worried too much. Um, we've got a guy to the left of me that ported in, Boogeyman, which I'm keeping an eye on him. But Boogeyman is coming in, I'm, oh dear, this is not good. Boogie says there's trouble close at hand. You better pay attention now, cause I'm the Boogeyman. Okay guys, so it's all going on now. We've got the rally just hit. Thank you very much. Cookies and milk are waiting downstairs. Now we've got Mr. Boogeyman coming in. He's speeding up his troops pretty fast. He wants to get to me quick, but just after the rally hits. 100,000 troops. It's all T3. Oh my god. Okay, right. We've got another march coming in from the right. It looks like a camp that's being placed. Okay, that's fine. Boogeyman's about to hit. And nice, that's been eaten. Oh, and another march coming from the south. Oh, this is all going on now. And then my recorder froze again. <laughs> but oh well, these things happen. But I got battle reports. Here we go. So Boogeyman's hit. 100,000 troops, 40,000 dead. Thank you so much, Mr. Boogie. And that's exactly what he sent. It's a full T3, looking pretty sweet. And I enjoyed eating that. Thank you. And that last march that came in from E619N, whatever his name is, a little baby one, but it got eaten too. Uh -huh. Okay guys and girls, so now we're at the end of the video. I basically just want to give you a few updates with regards to the channel. First of all, live streams are coming guys. In about three to four weeks time, I'm going to be doing live stream trapping, burning. So get your seat belts buckled in and get ready because that's going to be awesome. Also, and again, in about three to four weeks time, I'm going to be doing a game showcase on the channel. So one day a week, I will play and review a new game from the App Store. So that's something also to look forward to. Again, it's a Lord's Mobile channel, guys, but I just want to bring a bit more diversity to the channel, okay? Also, if you want to play Lord's Mobile on your laptop or PC, there's a link in the description to download Bluestacks, and you'll be playing Lord's on your PC and laptop within minutes. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Again, thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers! Oh my god, that's amazing! And I look forward to coming at you in the next video. You know how this next part goes, guys. Stay safe, and peace out. Okay.